have it refired now. So they're sp losing some precious time on pit lane, but hopefully they can get this issue sorted. Oh, and a problem. Oh, oh my no. gosh. That was a very hard impact there as they're heading up into the left. Okay. Oh, full course caution. Huge impact between the 99, the Daytona prototype, and the 62, Memo the GTLM Ferrari. Memo Gidley behind the wheel of the 99. Great response from everybody here in terms of safety workers and flag marshals. Remember that Daytona does this better than anyone else. The debris field there. Obviously, we're looking into the looking sunset right with into the, the sun. And we had just seen the 62 running off pace. You said looking into the sun, perhaps Memo Gidley looking down or trying to look through the windscreen, just could not see the 62, could not judge the speed. And the impact was ferocious. I would say that is probably a hundred mile an hour impact when he hit him, which was is extraordinary. Um, remember these cars, the safety cells, state of the art technology they have there. Um, but that is the toughest place. He was he let the car out probably to the to the left and was pulling back to the right and was looking straight in the sun, and that was as much a shock to. The driver of 62 as it was for Mimo. It's Matteo Malicelli in the 62 Ferrari and the medical workers right there absolutely instantly. Good to see. In fact, that is very near one of the emergency entries for the crews. Alex Gurney early on. Here is a look at what happened. First, Malicelli reported a loss of drive in his Risi Competizione. Ferrari. He stopped by the side of the road and then along came Mimo Gidley who was unsighted and whammo. That was a tremendous impact. Just scary to look at and uh, obviously tore the front end off the Red Dragon machine. Here we see another look at it. He's diving to the inside of that GT machine obviously unaware that Malicelli was slow on the left hand side of the racetrack. Just scary scary pictures to look at two yeah. problems with happening right there he was tucked right up underneath the ferrari when he made his attempt to make the pass he popped out right into the sunlight there was no way he could have seen melicelli